Time, tonight featuring Coast to Coast AM, from the 17th of March, 1999. Here's William Thomas again. William, I've got two things I want to read you very quickly, then we'll go back to the phones. Okay. William mentioned intestinal problems. This is from Don in California. I'm a healthy, active male, 33 years old, just after Christmas. I developed intestinal pain and flu-like symptoms, no fever, but very tired. The symptoms would come and go every few days. It lasted until late February. I remember telling friends, this is the weirdest flu I've ever had. Just when you're normal, it hits you again. Then about a week before I got sick, I noticed a sticky film on my vehicles, plural, in the morning. At that time, I told a friend of mine how I'd wash the car, and then it'd be all dirty again the next morning with this damn oily film. It's now beginning to make sense to me, Don in California. Sound about right? Sounds about right. I just sigh when I hear that story, because I've heard others like it and we seem to be going from upper respiratory to gastrointestinal with this stuff yeah and this uh art listening to mr thomas talk tonight he mentioned meningitis this big warning at the top of the facts it says art here in northeast ohio this is from dale in akron mm. in the last two months we've had four cases of meningitis none of the people ever had contact with any of the others two hospitalized two died mm. one a four-year-old one child and the other a 27-year-old female teacher. It all happened within five weeks, and we've got contrails here all the time. Possibly a connection? I do have reports from Akron on contrails, and I would ask uh, listeners to please participate in this very important investigation for all of us by sending me uh, news clippings of these meningitis outbreaks and similar outbreaks of disease. Uh, you'll find my address on my website. All right. Um, and again, uh, if you want to email, if you're in the media, you want to follow up on the story, you damn well ought to want to follow up on the story. Uh, it's Wilco, W-I-L-C-O, at islandnet.com, one word, islandnet.com, um, and, and you'll be able to email uh, William directly. His website is linked to my website. It's got tildes and stuff in it, so if that's hard for you, go to the website you're used to, mine, and just scroll down to William Thomas's name and click on the link. You can do more reading. His book is Bringing the War Home, and you can get it by calling one triple eight. Six nine zero one two seven seven. All right. Um, first time. No, uh, no. I shouldn't be going there yet. Let's go here. East of the Rockies. You're on the air with William Thomas. Where are you, please? Hi there. Uh, this is Marty, and I'm listening in uh, Brooklyn, New York, on 770 WABC. WABC. Yes, sir. And uh, I have a comment and a question for William. Sure. Um, my first, uh, first, a comment and. It has something to do with the story that Art said at the, just after the break, because two years ago I was down in Tampa, Florida, and uh, in the morning I left with my cousin to go, go get cigarettes, and the, the car was covered with dust, it looked like. Dust? And, uh, yeah, it was a, uh, it's the best way I can explain it, as if it, somebody was sawing wood around it, but it was everywhere, even. And I asked him, uh, asked him what it was, what is this? And uh, he complained and he moaned, and he said, well, sometimes the planes come over, and they dust for potato bugs, he said. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that, you know, I just, I was, okay, I figured he knows, you know, and he complained that it, it would leave spots on his car, and uh, they wouldn't tell anybody when they were doing this. They would just do it randomly. And I thought if they are doing that, if it is, you know, just innocently uh, spraying for bugs, uh, I, I know that, William, that you're trying to get information out, and I appreciate that. And, uh, I think uh, I, I applaud you for doing it, but I think some people might be getting terrified unduly, and that brings me to my question. No, that is right. I mean, uh, I, how the hell is somebody supposed to know the difference between contrails and chemtrails? That's my question. And, and Yeah, and I understand that this is going to cause great worry. It's worrying me. Um, so, yeah, to you, um, William, again, I guess that we were talking about that a little while ago. 
God, how do we help people understand what they should be concerned about and what's okay? Uh, life in this country is getting tougher by the minute. I agree, and again, I really don't want to be a purveyor of fear. I hope I can be a messenger for uh, awareness and public action toward uh, their elected officials and toward the, the media to instigate an investigation, demand some answers and accountability. Uh, we have enough stress in our lives already. There are plenty of crop dusters flying around spraying for various things. By the way, you don't want to be exposed to that spray any more than anything else. That's uh, very nasty, those pesticides. In fact, as we found tonight, um, some of these pesticide uh, elements or substances or compounds are being found uh, in Joe Burton's body, so we don't want to be exposed to that, nor do we want to run from every aircraft and every uh, normal legitimate contrail that we see. But if the contrails linger, or especially if they are being uh, dispensed behind an aircraft at a fairly low altitude, that is an aircraft, a, a big a big jet airplane that is not high and hard to see in the sky, but pretty much right up close and personal. Uh, beware, there is no possible way contrails can form from a jet aircraft uh, at nine or 10,000 feet. That is a very good indicator that something's going on. An X pattern in the sky is also another sure uh, mark of this particular beast. And you've had eyewitnesses say through telescopes and binoculars they have actually seen this stuff coming out nozzles. Absolutely correct. People viewing uh, these aircraft with uh, high power binoculars and telescopes have independently told me that they have seen the, the probe, the big boom uh, coming angling down from the rear of the aircraft Again, we're seeing these chemtrails uh, coming from the tails of identified tanker aircraft with engines on their wings. Here is a fax from a physician who I will not name. Art, whether these are epidemiologic studies of an offensive or defensive nature and or related to electromagnetic experimentation and or question mark, this is not good news and we're worried about joe camel where's george carlin when you need him seriously art this is serious as usual you're at least three to six months or more ahead of the news media curve uh we do a lot of that here um william we're ahead of the uh, regular media by uh, qu quite a bit frequently and i've got a feeling this is another one of those times we need to get this into in order to either knock it down or to prove it, you've got to go to the next step. And the next step means the New York Times. It means something in Time magazine or uh, something on the Associated Press. It means that. And that's the only way you're going to get the kind of oomph you need, study-wise and money-wise, to either prove this or knock it down. You're absolutely right, Mike last eight weeks of research have maybe put aside all paying project and I'm going along on donations from listeners such as uh, uh, the folks listening in tonight well I very much appreciate their contributions to this study I would delight uh, really in having this knocked down and disproven so I could get my life back and go on with other things Art I am convinced that is not repeat not going to happen while I am not certain and I do not have proof uh, t to make assertions of why this is going on, I can definitely say and prove that it is going on. We are being sprayed with something. They do contain pathogens. They do appear to be altering the weather. Hey, William, how old are you? Fifty. Fifty. How's your heart? Great. Heart's in good shape? You bet. Just checking. Uh, west of the Rockies, you're on the air with William Thomas. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ben from KSFO San Francisco 560. Yes, sir. Um, 
Hello, William. Hello. Thank you for your good work. You're welcome. I only started noticing these, what I've been calling them air sprays because of Art Bell, in over the San Francisco Bay on January 29th. Well, they've been testing on you guys before. Uh, February 10th. Since it was all on clear days and with a sea breeze blowing to the east, I thought, okay. But on the 22nd, they sprayed, and I got an illness, which I've never had and never heard of, that entered my every joint in my back. took four days to continue down the back all the way to the feet. <laughs> Meanwhile, again, now we have the Marines doing their so-called war games here. Yeah, I hear they're attacking your... Uh... Uh...